Veronica Peach by Andrea Kazmarek. Veronica Peach works in the library. She always finds the best stories to read out loud and is the best story reader in town, or so they say, especially Veronica Peach. Today I have a nasty pirate story, snarls Veronica in her scariest pirate voice, a patch on her eye and a scarf around her neck. Ooh, screeched the little ones, wondering what will come next. Today's story is about a witch with an itch. Veronica puts on her witch's hat and uses her croaky witch's voice. That's the way Veronica Peach tells stories, with mad hats and voices of all kinds. The children who come to the library love those stories. Magical mirrors, picky princesses, prancing ponies, singing whales, miserable clowns, lonely lions, always just the right kind of story. But Veronica Peach wants more. Not enough children come to the library to listen to my amazing stories. Children love a good story. I will just have to get more children to come on in and listen. Veronica Peach scratches her chin, thinking hard. If the children don't come to the library, maybe the library should go out to the children. Veronica Peach screws up her face and starts thinking of ideas. Then one clever idea pops into Veronica Peach's busy head. I shall take my stories out to the children, Veronica Peach decides. And what better way than on my fast-flying, flashy racing bike? Veronica's racing bike needs a good clean and a lot of oil, so she sets to work. What next? Veronica Peach is still thinking. I need books. A book bike has to have lots of different books piled up high with a trailer at the back. A book bike. Veronica Peach likes that name. And I will be the racing storyteller. Two days later, the book bike is ready. The fastest storyteller in town. Veronica Peach arrives at the library and tells them all about her plan. I have to make the children notice me, Veronica Peach smiles. Oh, they will notice you all right. The library team are very sure. But where will you find the children to read to? Veronica Peach pulls out a map and waves it. This is a map of all the playgrounds far and wide. I shall race from playground to playground with my book bike. It's perfect. The library team aren't so sure, but Veronica Peach has a plan and a map and a racing bike. The next day the sky is blue and the sun is shining and Veronica Peach races off on her book bike, her scarf flying in the wind and her hat pinned tight to her hair. She arrives at the first playground on her list. It doesn't take long. She finds a cosy shady spot under a tree and starts to read a story out very loud. A little boy steps up and asks, whatever are you doing? Veronica Peach looks him straight in the eye and tells him, I am Veronica Peach, the best story reader in town, and today it is story time in the park. She laughs. Tell all your friends and I'll start the best story you've ever heard in five minutes. The boy, Dino, yells, Cool, I'll be back in five and it had better be good. He comes back with more children, all curious about this crazy book lady in the park. They sit up close to listen to the story, eyes open wide, and ears too. The children are excited. It better be good. Wait and see and you can tell me afterwards if it's any good. Veronica Peach laughs and the children listen to the tricky, twisty treasure adventure. Just before the end, Veronica Peach closes the book and smiles a huge grin. Hey, shouts one of the boys, that's not fair. Did they rescue that funny little dog? And did they find that creepy old box? Yes, that's mean. A girl puts up her hand. We have to know what happened next. We really, really do. Well, you'll know tomorrow afternoon. Veronica Peach smiles and puts the book back onto her racing bike. Tell all your friends the book bike and the best story reader in town will be here with more stories. And that's exactly what happened. 
Veronica Peach races from playground to playground in the summer holidays, always with amazing stories and even madder hats. But when the summer comes to an end, Veronica Peach tells the children, stories can carry on in the winter, but now you'll just have to come to the library to hear them. That's the deal and even better. Veronica Peach tweaks her funny hat and gives them a big wink. I will find some very special storybooks for you to take home with you. That's what libraries do, don't you know? We lend you the very best stories to read. In bed, in the garden, hiding behind the curtains, or any other places you find to hang around. But all the children loved reading in the library, too. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.